Congratulations to all my students that you have passed with the glorious results and promoted to a new class. Students, today I am going to explain you the first chapter of English literature of class 6 that is Who Did Patrick's Homework? A story by Carol Moore. Patrick was a young boy who never ever loved to do his homework. So let us read the story. Patrick never did his homework. Oh, it's too boring, he said. He played hockey, basketball and Nintendo. Nintendo is a kind of a video game. His teacher told him, Patrick, do your homework or you won't learn a thing. And it's true. Sometimes he did feel like an ignoramus. Ignoramus means a person who lacks education. An ignorant person you can also see. But what could he do? He hated homework. Then one day, he found his cat playing with a little doll and he grabbed it away. Grabbed means snatched. To his surprise, it wasn't a doll at all, but a man of a tiniest size. Tiniest means very, very small. He had a little wool shirt with old-fashioned breeches. Breeches means short pant and a high tall hat that much like a witch, which means a a lady who used to do magics, especially evil magics. He yelled, Save me, don't give me back to that cat. I will grant you a wish. I promise you that. Patrick couldn't believe how lucky he was. Here was an answer to all his problems. So he said, Only if you do my homework till the end of the semester, that's of 35 days, if you do a good job, I could even get A's. The little man face wrinkled like a dish cloth. Wrinkled means crushed. Dish cloth means a cloth which we use for washing dishes thrown in the hamper. Hamper means dustbin. He kicked his leg and doubled his fist. He grimaced. He scowled. He pursed his lips. That means he frowned with anger. Oh, am I cursed? But I will do it. He thought being cursed. But still, he agreed to help Patrick. And true to his word, the elf began to do Patrick's homework. Except there was one glitch. Glitch means problem, fault. The elf didn't always know what to do. He needed help. And Patrick would have to help him, whatever way. I do know this word. The elf squeezed. Squeezed means nervous. While reading Patrick's homework. Get me a dictionary. No, what even better? Look up the word and sound it out by each letter. When it comes to the language, Patrick helped Alf by using a dictionary, by reading a word, by searching a word from the dictionary. When it's come to math, Patrick was out of luck. Out of luck means he is very unlucky. What are timetables? The elf shrinked. Shrink means he cried. He shouted loudly. We elf never need that. Addition, subtraction, division, fraction. Here, sit down beside me. Beside means next. The elf shouted to the Patrick that he had to sit beside him and guide him for the things. And when it come to the human history, it was like a mystery for the elf. Mystery means a thing which is not clear. So he was already shouting and he got more louder. Go to the library. I need books. More and more books. And you can help me. Read them too. He warned Patrick to read that for him. As a matter of fact, every day in every way, the little elf was a nag. Nag means a person who always creates a trouble. Patrick was working harder than ever. And was it a drag? Even it's a dull and boring for him. He was staying up nights. He used to stay up for long nights to complete the homework for helping the elf for doing that. He never felt so tired. Weary. Weary means tired. He was going to school with high, his eyes puffed. Puffed means swollen. Finally, the last day of the school arrived. The elf was free to go. So he quietly and slyly, slyly means cleverly, slipped out the back door. Patrick got his A's. His classmates were amazed. He, they were surprised how Patrick got a code. His teachers smiled and were full of praise. His parents wondered 
what happened to patrick now patrick was being a model kid for other kids he cleaned his room he do all the things whatever is necessary he never ever rude with anyone he developed a whole new attitude in the end patrick still thought that he had made the tiny man do all his homework but i will share a secret just between you and me it wasn't the elf but patrick had done it himself he guided the elf for each and everything he read the books he went to the library again and again and completed his task thank you